Hey gang, one of you emailed me last week asking if I had a video just showing how to foam roll. And I was like, of course I have a video showing how to foam roll. And then I went to my YouTube channel and searched for it and I can't find one. So I know I've included individual clips uh, in different videos, but I couldn't anywhere find just a little, hey, here's uh, how to foam roll and where to foam roll. So that's what I've got for you today. Check it out. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. We're going to foam roll our quad, so the front of our thigh. And again, working the different angles, so the inside, the middle, and the outer portion. Sometimes I split it into thirds, so kind of the top third for about 10 seconds, and then the middle third for 10 seconds, and then the bottom third for 10 seconds, just above my knee. And um, if it's too sore, put your other toe on the ground and offload some of the pressure. We use the foam roll on our hamstrings. So again, we're just rolling kind of the outer portion, the middle portion, and the inner portion. And again, you can split it into thirds. So the top third up just underneath your bum, the middle third, and the bottom third just above your kneecap or just above your knee. When we foam roll our groins, I think of dividing your adductors into three portions, the outer third, the middle third and the inner third. So I'm just lying, I have my knee bent. Um, you can straighten your leg as well, um, just sometimes your foot hits the floor. But um, So we'll come on the outer third. And again, kind of rotating that leg to get different portions. And then you get the middle third. And finally, the inner third. When you use a foam roller to work on your glutes, you're going to sit on it lengthwise like this, so the, the circle part's facing straight ahead. And then if I have it on my right bum cheek, on my right glute, I'm gonna bring my right foot, my right ankle, up on my opposite knee, and then roll across that way. So we're rolling in the direction of the fibers. It doesn't have to be fast, and if you find a little trigger point or not, then you can sit on that a little bit and change your angle, lean back a little bit to get that upper portion, lean forward a little bit to get a little lower. Important thing to remember when you're using the foam roll for your iliotibial band is to try to stay off the bony prominences. So stay off up in here into your, your pelvis and your hip um, and stay off sort of where you, where you cross your knee. So that'll, that'll kind of pinch the tissue between the bone and the foam roll. And to start with, just use your other leg to offload a little bit of the pressure. So this leg's straight, but this leg's offloading a bit, because it's not that comfortable to start with. Um, but once you get used to it, you can bring both legs up. And then we're gonna spend most of our time working along the border where the IT band meets the quadriceps, so toward the front and toward the back where it meets the hamstring. So the iliotibial band is a really thick fascial band or connective tissue band that runs along the outside of the thigh. And it is very, very um, strong and, and fibrous. So really rolling on it like that isn't going to affect much change. But we focus a little bit where it integrates um, or meshes with the quadriceps in the front, the hamstrings in the back and, and try to get a little bit of remodeling there. When you foam roll the lats, um, the most common mistake I see is people getting up on their arm. The lats really attach here and then go down. So we wanna stay sort of the armpit and below. So this is the area that we're rolling. So I'm gonna bring this arm overhead, um, turning my palm up and I'm rolling just from the top of my armpit down. And again, I'll roll forward a little bit I'll open my chest a bit to the back and look for any little trigger points in there. 